and back for another quickie video. So I think if you watch my channel, you know I'm fascinated with the old TPA 3116 uh, amplifier. Uh, this is one right here. It's also in the Breeze Audios and other things. I just love these things. These are pretty inexpensive. But when i looking at eBay, I notice that things are starting to get cheap again, or cheaper than they ever have been when it comes to these amplifiers. And so I went ahead and ordered one. Now, these are all over eBay, and they cost a mere $5 or so. So I ordered this last week, and it came very quickly from China, which was kind of surprising. But there's a problem with this one. So here it is. It came with, um, it's nice because it came with the little standoffs here. Little nuts and standoffs. It came with a volume knob. It even came with a washer and a nut that goes on the volume knob. And this particular unit was literally, I think, a little over five dollars. Uh, it's similar to that unit in that the volume and the audio input are on the front as opposed to being on the back. So there's a 3.5 millimeter audio input, but it also has a multi-pin header. So I guess if you want to put this in a case and have the audio with RCA jacks coming from somewhere else, you can easily do that. And then on the back, instead of having a what is it, a 2.1 millimeter barrel connector? I'm sure I'm getting that the dimensions wrong. Um, it has these, these connectors here. So obviously it's right and left audio and power. Now, unfortunately, I was very excited to bring this home and test it and give you a nice video, but there's a bit of a problem. That is not right. And oh, it's going to be really hard to see, but unfortunately... The heat sink is glued right down onto the amplifier chip, and during shipping, it ripped the chip right off the board. It's very hard to see in there because of the light, but uh, I think if the TPA chips are basically has all the pins on one side and it has a big solder tab on the other side, probably heat sinking and ground, maybe power. And uh, unfortunately, that's all that's holding this on right now. This is not the best design. All my other ones I've ever opened had the heatsink uh, screwed on with two screws and nuts through the board, so there was no stress on the chip. Clearly, during shipping, this got ripped right off. So I've emailed the, uh, emailed this seller, and they're in China, but they got back to me just a few hours after I sent them a message, said they are very apologetic and will send me a replacement. Unfortunately, it takes quite a bit of time to get that, so that's the only negative. I was really looking forward to seeing how good these $5 boards are. Five bucks! Amazing. So when I get the new board, I'll make a video and we will compare it to some of the more expensive ones. If I recall, that one was $14. I think it was 14 and if you can even find it now, it's around $20 on eBay, which is actually too much for what that is. But this should have very similar specifications. The capacitance is definitely less, I'd say, this is very similar. Uh, you know, I don't know, actually. It might be similar. But anyways, we'll compare. That one has a really big heat sink. This one has a tiny heat sink. And obviously this happened. So don't glue big heat sinks down onto surface mount components and then ship them across the planet. They have a tendency to break. Anyways. Sorry for the noise in the background. My furnace is turned on. Uh, so I just uh, gave a little bit of a tug on this uh, chip here. And it came off the rest of the way. So you can see what's happened here. Judging by the look of those pins, this thing has been banging around for quite a bit. And those pins are actually ripped right off. Sorry, this close focus is not that great on the Samsung here. But that's a shame. Yep, there's still pins right on this board. I suppose if I got another chip, I could repair it. But not... Not gonna happen with this particular one. Not with missing, missing legs. Anyways, that's a shame. Oh, I did get a heat sink out of it. And I can take these parts off this board so there's a few spare parts. Anyhow, yeah, not a great design. Chinese writing, so this is made in China. Construction quality is not too bad. What a shame. Anyways.